my friend Dr. Rupinski on the phone. We want it. Hey, Dr. Drew. Hey, Sam. What's happening? Hey, um, number one, I miss you. Number two, uh, I think you're the right person to talk to considering Roseanne Barr's behavior over the past 48 hours. So, uh, let me ask you this. Uh, Roseanne's actions are, uh, many people are asking if her actions are a result of a mental health problem. So, do you see that or is this just an excuse? Well, uh, it, it's, it might be an explanation, but it is no excuse, right? In other words, uh, when I first saw the abhorrent torrent of tweets, as it's being called, I thought, oh, well, she's either on drugs and or in some sort of psychiatric uh, decompensation. But when on my own radio program, we discussed, let's say she was on drugs. Does that matter? No. Let's say she's psychotic. Does that make her racist? No. So it doesn't, it, it doesn't ex excuse or really meaningfully explain the racist quality to these tweets. It's, it's terrible. It's not okay. Uh, and indeed, she does have severe mental health issues. And one of, the, one of the concerns I had is when people were looking at those tweets, the word nutty kept coming up. And I thought, well, on one hand, I want to, I want to walk the line very carefully that we don't stigmatize people with mental illness. By the same token, I don't want people to think that people with mental illness are somehow magically racist because they, when they become, get into one of these altered states, they can somehow sort of that becomes a manifestation of their psychiatric illness, which would not be the case. Okay, so let's say, though, that she is suffering from a severe mental health issue, okay? Yeah. So does yeah. she deserve special consideration or an accommodation in a situation like this, in your opinion, or no? No, no, no. I think no. I think that, that's the sort of thought experiment I was telling you. It's a thought experiment we did yesterday. If she's on drugs, does, it, does, that, make any, does that make us feel differently about what she said? No. If she's in acute psychiatric decompensation, does that make it different, what she said? No. It explains why the sort of torrent, and it explains the sort of weird quality to all of it, but it doesn't, as the drug company so appropriately has said, racism is not a side effect of substances. So then, uh, just to get it from you, uh, there's no way that Ambien could be responsible for her behavior at all. Well, no, I, Sam, I'm not saying that. I, I'm saying Ambien very nicely explains the torrent. It doesn't explain the racism. Got you it. You understand? And so it's not, it's not an excuse. It's not a, a justification. It's an explanation. It's why the, everything was so, and again, I'm going to use a stigmatizing word, so crazy. But the racism, no. Got it. Aw, oh, Dr. Drew, thank you so much for providing right. clarity. Have a great day. Go to your doctor for right. stuff. Uh, thanks. Okay. I'll go back to my Dr. Drew thing. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love him so much. But, you know, that does provide a lot of clarity. So mm -hmm. even those people that are saying, hey, if she has a mental health issue or, hey, if it was the Ambien, coming from Dr. Drew himself, still not an excuse. Right. These are, the, it, I think he, what he was saying is, is the Ambien makes the thoughts come out of your head in a manic state, but the thoughts were already there to begin with. And, I mean, that's what really, really what we're looking at. This is not the first time she's ever said anything controversial. It hasn't just been with race, but, I mean, this has been her M.O., for a long time, and that's why I mean, none of us really fell out of our chair when he, when she found. I was surprised she tweeted it. I'm surprised she didn't say it at a party, uh, you know. But I'm I'm so always surprised when people say stuff like that in print. But I mean, Roseanne's one of those people. Do you yeah. think ABC me... acted too swiftly in this matter? Because a lot of people, like we said yesterday, a lot of families, including everyone from the camera guy to the lighting guy, a lot of families have lost their jobs. Why couldn't they let ABC? I understand ABC a network show, but on Hulu, why couldn't they just leave the reruns? take Roseanne out of it, buy her out, whatever they need to do, still supporting all these jobs, but let the people decide. If they don't get the ratings, the show will be canceled anyway. But why do all these people have to suffer? Yeah, well, I just think they wanted to keep their name out of the headlines. That's what it is. And I think if this dragged on like it did with the Lauren Ingram thing, where we had to watch advertisers drop one by one day after day, we talked about that for a week and a half on this show. The fact that they eliminated that, we'll probably cover this for one more day, if that. 